Good morning. It is Saturday, the 10th of November 2012, at my Christian place by stone. Now, what's it all about? <laughs> Silly me. Right, we'll start with the beginning of wisdom is to know that you know nothing except, in my case, I know that I love God through Christ. I am a Christian, whatever that is, but I am one of them. See? I believe in God through Christ. I love God through Christ. Whatever the world thinks of people like me, well, good luck to them. I am a Christian. I speak as a Christian. I behave, hopefully, as a Christian. I didn't say I was a good Christian, and I do try to be a better Christian. So Christ's words are, take up your cross and follow me each day. <clears throat> well, this is how I live my life. how we are all enjoined to live our lives. Right, so there we are and there we are. Now, who cares what I think? Or what I say? You know, it's nothing. If you look in the Old Testament, at the end of Ecclesiastes, the conclusion of the matter, whoever wrote Ecclesiastes, all things have been considered, and the conclusion of the matter is, the meaning of life is this, to love God through Christ. So, money is irrelevant, wealth, riches, wives, cattle, sheep, chariots, I don't know, whatever. Doesn't matter. We came... We come into this world naked and we go out. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Dust to dust. That's it. Anyway, I'm here for the duration. <coughs> and I will speak. As the Christian I am. When I speak like this, these words come from God, not from me which makes it prophetic speaking. So I don't know what I'll say before I've said it, and I don't know what I've said when I've said it, till I review it. But it's in my soul these words. They come from God. I'm in the foothills. I'm just a foot soldier slogging away in this dark world. But there's light here in my Christian place. It's not my place. It's the place I'm in at the moment. The lady who owns it 
with all due respect, has asked me to take my films down of the building outside. Well, fine. But I am a Christian. <coughs> okay, that's my old Bible. It's been round the block. That's around the world with me for a good number of years, getting a bit tatty, but I am a Christian, and I speak as a Christian. We live in a troubled world, it's obvious to anyone who's got two grains of sense to rub together. Now, indeed, nothing's changed then since Christ's time. In the times of Christ, obviously, there was huge oppression by the Romans, martyrdom of people. <coughs> <coughs> It goes on now all around the world. I avoided becoming a priest through the Cathedral and Abbey Church of St. Albans, very high church, Church of England. And I went to this meeting. There were 37 countries around the world represented by quite often black people, but secretaries or whatever of Christian uh, churches throughout the world. And the secretary was a lady, as it happened, the, the chief secretary and her words were that St. Alban was martyred he was the first martyr in uh, England in the year uh, about 203 uh, 203 correct St. Alban there are now St. Alban's churches throughout the world <coughs> God moves in mysterious ways he's wonders to perform this is how these things work she said basically that in the preceding week, someone would have been martyred, probably in many of those 37 places throughout the world for their faith. This is the world we live in. I can only add to the sum of mankind in a small way. It's the simple same message. We're living in the end times now. Turn to God. There is no other way. Turn to God. That's it. Turn to God. Amen. Oh.